Hey guys, welcome to this video on recurrence relation and proof by induction. So here we have our problem. It states to let t of n be a recurrence relation defined by t of 1 equals 2 and t of n equals 2 times n times t of n minus 1 for all values of n greater than 1. And we want to prove that for all positive integers, t of n is equal to 2 to the power of n times n factorial. And so when we do a proof by induction, we usually have our base case, uh, an inductive hypothesis, and an inductive step, and then sometimes a conclusion afterwards. All right, so for our base case, we want to show when n equals 1 that the statement t of n equals 2 to the power of n times n factorial is true. All right, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use LHS. That's going to stand for left-hand side, and this is going to equal our t of n. And we want to know when n equals 1, what does t equal? So when n, n equals 1, our t value, or our t function, is equal to 2. And that was given to us from the statement above. All right? So now, in order for our base case to be true, it must match... Um, the left-hand side and the right-hand side both must match. All right, so I'm going to use RHS for right-hand side. And our right-hand side of the statement is 2 to the power of n times n factorial. Okay, and of course, when n equals 1, we get 2 to the power of 1 times 1 factorial. And this is just equal to 2. All right, so our left-hand side and our right-hand side are both equal to 2, uh, so this means that our base case is also true. Next, we're going to do our inductive hypothesis. And here we're going to assume for some arbitrary value k that the statement t of n equals 2 to the power of n times n factorial. And so what that basically means is we're going to assume that for t of k, we get 2 to the power of k times k factorial okay so we're just basically substituting uh, k for n some arbitrary value all right so last but not least we're going to do our inductive step and here we're going to prove that if the statement t of k equals 2 to the power of k times k factorial is true then it must be true for the next natural number so it must be true for t of k plus 1 equal to 2 to the power of k plus 1 times k plus 1 factorial. So what we're going to do here is we're going to do some math and algebra to prove that t of k plus 1 is equal to, we're going to do some steps in between here, and we're going to prove that it's equal to 2 to the k plus 1 times k plus 1 factorial. And if we can show that this is true, then we have proven that t of n equals 2 to the power of n times n factorial. For our recurrence relation, t of n equals 2 times n times t of n minus 1. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started here. So what is t of k plus 1? Well, from our statement above, we can just plug in k plus 1 for n. So we're going to get 2 times k plus 1 times t of k plus 1 minus 1. And again, all I did was plug in k plus 1 for our value n. All right. So what does this equal? This is equal to 2 times k plus 1 times t of k. All right. And now we have t of k, so we can use our inductive hypothesis here. And we can replace it with... 2 to the power of k times k factorial. Okay, so we did this using the inductive hypothesis. So I'm going to just put i dot h for inductive hypothesis. Okay, so what is this equal? This is equal to 2 to the k plus 1 times k plus 1 times k factorial. Okay, all I did was multiply the 2 times the 2 to the power of k, so we get 2 to the power of k plus 1. 
And this right here is just equal to 2 to the k plus 1 times k plus 1 factorial. And that's because k plus 1 times k factorial is equal to k plus 1 factorial. And if you don't see that, I can show you an example right now. Let's say we had uh, 5, which would be our k plus 1. And uh, we multiplied it by 4 factorial, which would be our k value. Uh, this is equal to 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And, of course, that's just equal to 5 factorial. So that's all we're doing here. All right. So now that we have shown that this is true uh, for the next uh, natural number, we have proven that t of n equals 2 to the power of n times n factorial for our recurrence relation, t of n equals 2 times n times t of n minus 1. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. Uh, please leave any questions or comments uh, in the comment section. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you found it helpful, please share it. And don't forget to subscribe. And as always, guys, again, thanks for watching. And I'll see you all in the next video.